Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we are here in the captain's cabin of the Normandy. Um, we've done some, I don't know, customization, I guess you would call it, of Shepard's armor, because it looked like there was clipping, and I, I guess it's the mod, this EGM, it allows you to, you know, put different arm pieces and leg pieces and whatnot together and it does seem to cause clipping it looks like I can actually have like two arm pieces two leg pieces together but we don't want that <laughs> we we want the armor to look normal so we have customized the armor I have done some upgrades on the weapons I have a le level two weapons now so that the I've read messages at your private terminal uh oh um so that the weapons are not as heavy and we have quicker cooldowns. Let's see what else have we got at our private terminal. Oh man, a lot. Oh, from Major Alenko, Doc says, I'm ready for visitors. All right, through some combination of medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if you can spare the time. Counselor Udina offered to make me a specter, still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Wow, a specter. Okay, Turian Special Forces from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, the Primarch has suggested sending a group of his veteran Special Forces to work alongside ours. It is his belief that sharing techniques and experience fighting together will improve teams, both teams. Fifth Fleet will retain the overall chain of command, of course. Of course the humans will. But we, we now will now be conducting operations in both human and Turian space. I mean, does it bother anybody that everything is like human-centric? in these games and stuff even though these species are probably more advanced and tougher and all that stuff why is it always the humans why do we always write and cater to the human race when they are not like the the superior race in the in the universe anyway i'm sorry i'm i'm, I'm rambling um it seems that being on board the normandy has shown him that joint species ops work I like the idea, the more boots on the ground, the better, and politically it helps us maintain good relations with the Turian military. I have sent them to work with General Von Grath on the SSV Isaac Newton. The new battleship group has been calling itself N7 Special Ops. While not technically N7, if they're helping us fight Reapers, then for now they can call themselves whatever they want. They'll provide invaluable support on the ground. Okay, now we have an urgent message. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. I think this might be the DLC Leviathan, perhaps? Because I have all the DLCs. I, you know, we've got the complete thing. Everything. Mass Effect 3. Alright. Um, N7 Extractions. We've received a broken transmission from an N7 operative on Earth. It appears that the ICT training facility in Brazil is still standing. They were only able to keep the QEC connection stable for a few seconds, 
but that was enough to transmit some valuable information. It looks like more in-class operatives are there attempting to hold the station. We can definitely use these soldiers, but right now they're stranded. Personal records from the station indicate the presence of a destroyer specialist, Fury Biotics, and shadow infiltrators, infiltrators, all of whom are deadly and effective against reefers. I can't stress enough their importance to our ongoing special operations. With your IFF, if you remember from Mass Effect 2, identify friend foe transmitter and stealth ability the Normandy is the only Alliance vessel capable of even attempting such a rescue with this level of risk the Reaper presence on earth remains heavy and the local resistance is too pinned down to even think about assisting if the Reapers spot you just get the hell out of there help requested from Specter Ball Okay, Commander, my name is John Ball. I'm with Special Tactics and Recon. Now see, again, I think this is part of EGM mod. They're adding like specters and stuff that were definitely missing from the vanilla Mass Effect 3. Because, I mean, where are they? We're at war. There's only one, one specter. One human specter? That's the only one we're going to see? Anyway, while some have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in ST&R took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. Seriously? If you took them seriously, we probably wouldn't be in this situation. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant pl political power to the Reapers. If you have time, meet me in the Citadel Embassy. I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is EGM or I can't remember if this was in the vanilla game. Anyhow. Tanner Nurrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
but their military industrial support is just too vital to ignore. I'm still putting pressure on them to cooperate, but a personal visit from you might just tip the balance. They think producing weapons for our fleets will make them a likely target for the Reapers. I need you to reassure them that what's good for us is good for them. Contact me when you're ready and I'll arrange for my negotiations team to meet you there. Now, I don't remember this either. I'm thinking that this may be one of those 17 assignments from the EGM Expanded Galaxy mod. Okay, nice. All right. So, Citadel Dr. Bryson. It is time for us to go. Galaxy map open. All right, so we are still in orbit around the moon Manet, where we picked up Garrus in our last mission and saved Primarch Fedorian, I believe his name was. All right, let's move on. Now, I'm hesitant to scan. Okay, nothing good. Let's see, we have plenty of fuel. All right, let's get to our relay. And, uh-oh. We're starting to get more and more stuff appearing on our galaxy map. All right, I was going to head here to Sigurd's Cradle to this Cerberus lab. Let's go. here already wow okay man I am just terrified to use this scanner I found something <gasps> oh okay I thought it was a Reaper okay wait is it oh I thought okay I'm sorry people I'm very nervous about these Reapers all right so let's enter the orbit of Watson Watson is known to human media for two things its spectacular tides brought on by a large moon and the bureaucratic snafu over which earth nations got to settle there first. Watson is a garden world first discovered in 2165 CE with credit claimed by the Chinese People's Federation, the United North American States and European Union. The Systems Alliance brokered the infamous, oh my goodness, Ray Reykjavik? compromise sorry if I butchered that allowing limited colonization from each coalition in cities compromised of populations from each nation Watson itself trends colder than earth with temperature zones measuring about 30 degrees latitude in either direction from the equator its life does not easily map to Earth's evolutionary eras some islands have species that resemble terrestrial placental mammals. Others are overrun by arthropods. It is estimated that at least two more generations of xenozoologists will be needed to properly classify all of the species of the planet. Scanning. What are we even looking for? Okay. Oh, we have probes too? Okay. Launching. Oh, lost and found. Okay. What did we find? Alliance forces updated. Watson volunteers. War asset updated. Okay, nice. All right, I think we're done here. All right, 50% assets recovered. Lord have mercy, okay. I'm gonna try another scan. <gasps> okay, here they come, here come the Reapers, let's go. We're going to Decorus, to the Cerberus lab. And we'll have to come back to Skepsis later on. Can I scan this? Signal confirmed. Whoa. Whoa. 
okay. What is this? All right, the planet Laina? Laina? Whatever. Laina, cloaked, is a methane-clouded hothouse planet. Its lack of metal-rich core and significant magnetosphere allows for an easy scan, which reveals mining equipment on its surface. It can be deduced that this mining occurred within the last five years. Any longer, and the machines would have worn down to nothing by the excessive heat and dust storms of hot iron oxide. Okay, start scan. Okay, 10,000 credits. And what else? Okay, that's it. Alright, we're leaving orbit. And we've got something else here. Investigate. Uh-oh. Is this the Cerberus lab? The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Okay, let's... We recovered... 350... Whatever. Milliliters of fuel or whatever, however it's measured. All right, here we go. Sanctum, the Cerberus lab. Sanctum is proof of the old spacer adage. Just because it's a garden world doesn't mean it's a picnic. Never heard that before. Guess I haven't lived long enough. Freezing ice storms cover the poles and temperate zones, leaving a narrow strip of habitable land at the equator. Dry but windy, this area is home to Sanctum's minimal terrestrial plant life. The planet has yet to develop land-based animals, though invertebrates grow quite large in its pelagic seas. Haven't heard that word either. Mining referred to as ice cracking at anywhere but the equator is common employment on Sanctum. The planet is rich in, pla in platinum and palladium deposits, as well as boron, which is locally used in semiconductor doping. All right, there's a travel advisory. Carbon dioxide levels on Sanctum can reach 5,000 parts per million during thermal inversions. Travelers should carry a, a breath mask at all times and consult the Sanctum World Weather Service for warnings. Travel advisory. Piracy is at a 14-year global high on Sanctum. Visitors should take appropriate security precautions. All right. Let's land. I'm hoping this is the mission that I think it is. The way it's described here, I'm not so sure. All right, so we've gone from two squad mates to four in just like one mission, one and a half missions. Well, the ED thing, that, well, I don't know. Anyhow, I don't know. You can't really count that as a mission. It just, just happened. Wow, um, I'm taking Garrus. And I think I'm going to take James. See, I hate that I just love incendiary ammo so much that I'm kind of locked into taking him. So here you can see the armor. I've cleaned it up. We don't have the clipping and all that kind of stuff. And we have it... I've chosen the power boost set of armor so that it will help with his biotics. Okay, let's save and exit. And as you can see, the power recharge speed is gone from 175% to 184 because we now have class 2 weapons, which are lighter. Oh, we have 8 more points. Hmm. You know, since... He loves using Singularity. I mean, 
it recharges very fast, but we'll go ahead and recharge it even more. Okay, and... I don't know, do I want to put points in pull yet? We'll, we'll wait, because I'm not sure if I want to use cluster grenades or pull. I don't think we can do anything with Garrus quite yet. So, yeah, I don't know if I want frag grenades. Maybe we do. I don't know. I'll just have to think about it. Think about it. Let's go. Hopefully we'll make it through this mission without, you know, having upgraded these guys. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. And you can see Shepard is now wearing his helmet, so where I thought we were having some graphical issues, actually he didn't have a helmet. Now he does. Incendiary ammo. You bet. Yeah, Shepard. Okay, for you guys. I'm on it. Alright, so everybody's got incendiary and you've got a shotgun. Let's go. What's this? Credits. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of the multiplayer maps. And I spent a lot of time, uh-oh, playing multiplayer. After I was devastated by the ending of Mass Effect 3. Let's try some carnage. There we go. Yeah, but the, the multiplayer for Mass Effect proved to be a lot of fun. All right, let's fan out. Let's search the area. have the opportunity. Oh, what's this? Journal entry. Okay, personal log from C. Talavi. Finally here. Wow. The troops here are really intense. No one smiles. Ever. And suicide on capture orders? Seriously? They'll call training integration? I start being integrated tomorrow? Can't wait. Know what that means. What we got in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Collecting our experience. What's this? 
More credits. Oh, what have we got here? A sniper rifle and ants scope. Alright. Hmm. This looks like that thing that Hackett was looking at on his monitor. Alright, let's uh bypass the contaminant system. The containment system, sorry. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Guess so. Let's pick up the artifact. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Okay, let's go back to the landing pad. I heard Cerberus voices. Oh, there they are. Wow. Nobody has any powers available. and not having any abilities. Singularity out. Warping. Oh, that was throw. Sorry. Now, can we? Thank you. Oh, what's this? Another one? All right, from C. Talavi. Integration successful. Suicide on capture orders confirmed. Cerberus is my friend. Obey, protect humanity at any cost. No, he's been indoctrinated. All right, let's go. Containment system, let's bypass it. Uh oh. Concussive shot and carnage. There we go. Alright, let's get the artifact. Second sample secured. Heading back to you now. Uh, said it would be easy. Okay, so we're Cerberus. Are we just supposed to stroll through the hallways? Ch chance getting shot? Uh-oh. That was overload and carnage. my biotic melee. Stay focused. This isn't over yet. I can do this all day. Oh, 
overload. Yeah, there's something in here I need. Failed Metagel experience. See. Singularity out. Look out. My singularity. Oh, no. Again with this grenade doesn't seem to remove their shields. I think I've got something that will pull. Cortez, do you copy? I don't think he made it. Uh oh. Make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. Hey, that's not being very, uh, optimistic. I don't think he made it. Pull. There we go. Cerberus. 
We're walking. Let's go. All right, and that was the N7 mission. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. All right, 10,000 credits. Nice. We are doing good in the money department. I guess I need to start spending it now. That would be the next step. Okay, let's look at our war assets. Uh, I can't remember what it was before. 643 or something? Hasn't gone up much. Okay, so we have Cerberus research data. All right, includes reports on the composition and strengths of various Reaper units. Alliance scientists are fact-checking the information, but it appears to be genuine, so Alliance military VIs can use it to strategize against the Reaper's ground forces. All right. Now, what's this war map? I see. All right, well, everything is still at 50%. Is this General Victus? Primarch Victus, sorry. Primarch? Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. Hmm. I'm Doesn't sorry to it? say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. That there'll be a lot more blood, real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Let's ask about the Palavin situation. How are things on Palavin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Let's ask about his new duties. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan. And I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. Hmm, I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. All right, let's talk about Turian help for Earth. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. Okay, well... I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm not sure where we're headed next. But wherever it is, it should be interesting. Okay, folks, this is Hill! And I'm out!